We're Blue Twisted Steel. We're from Southern West Virginia. My name's Abby. That's Josiah on the drums and Evan on the bass. And we're coming to you from Ohio University Southern in the Bowman Auditorium in Ironton, Ohio. Blue Twisted Steel is kind of a, I don't know, a term they used to use in the 1950s and 60s. It's what they used to call my papa when he was in the Navy because he never lost an arm wrestling contest. Blue Twisted Steel almost means like so like strained and almost breaking but not broken so it's like we thought that that was pretty cool and uh kind of wanted to pay tribute to him as well so yeah. when you twist steel like that it's to the point of almost being broken and that was something that we've you know took home with us and thought about like wow that's that could mean a lot of different things and that's um and you know now we we hope that it means you know something to somebody else too and mm -hmm. and uh you know, we've, we, we used to be in a band called Marguerite, and um, we got a lot of Margaritaville uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> confusion. So yeah, we, that, that's my middle name is Marguerite, yeah, yeah. so it was also a family yeah. thing. Yeah. And so, yeah. but after COVID, and we just kind of, uh, we took a little bit of a hiatus from performing, but we were still writing and everything. So whenever, a few years ago, whenever my Paul Paul started talking about his Navy days more, he mentioned that phrase, and that kind of intrigued us, and we kind of just ran with it, so. This next song is an original called Everything I Was and Tried to Be. Well, Josiah and I are high school sweethearts. So we grew up, we actually grew up uh, with each other, met each other in fifth grade. Yeah. So we've known each other for quite a while, been married for six years now, so. And my brother who plays bass for us is, you know, he's been in my life for my whole life, so. Yeah, it's, <laughs> they've been playing music together longer than we've been yeah. playing music yeah. together, so. We had, a, we had a band in high school that um, kind of left us hanging high and dry, and uh, Evan, at, some point I think we had a show scheduled and he he and my dad saved the day and they mm -hmm. joined joined our group and and then he's kind of he's been with us ever since and he's an integral part of our our music and and it's a it's a family affair I guess mm -hmm. <laughs> I grew up singing in church and in choir and everything and it, Patsy Cline's a huge influence for me that's for sure and more modern day I'm loving SG Goodman right now she is a uh, one of my favorite artists that she has one of the most unique voices out there right now so I think it's 
I think it's really important when people find their own voice, and I think she has. Mm -hmm. So that's that's my two cents. So. Yeah, there's a lot of. I mean, you got to talk about the classics too, because we. I mean, like our our dad is like the biggest Dylan fan. My dad, my 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 brother <laughs> and I's dad. Um, and uh, we grew up listening to Dylan a lot, and we had wonderful influences growing up. And Beatles, all the all the integral stuff, and and then we, uh, Abby and I, we I think the first song we wrote, we were trying to emulate uh, June and Johnny, and that's yeah. kinda, <laughs> that's a big you know the, the classic country stuff is a huge part of what we do. But then we also go into some of the more newer stuff like um, some Radiohead influences and, and My Morning Jacket and mm -hmm. those those types of bands that uh, have definitely played a big part in what we do now. So this next song is called Tar and Feather off of our EP called Intro. I usually start with a melody 
Uh, and Josiah, I think sometimes you start out with more of an idea first, like a yeah, topic. Hear, yeah, that's a good, I hear a topic sometimes, melody sometimes, but lately I've been really hearing production of whatever we do, which is really weird <laughs> for, for <laughs> not even having a song written at that point. Yeah. But, but um, it's a little different, and, and I think it's evolved for us throughout the years. You know, we, we started playing music when we were, what, like 15, 14? Mm -hmm. And uh, back then it was trying to emulate something that we, we you know, someone we loved, and just mm -hmm. kind of figuring out how do they, you know, breaking down a song, and how, how do we do this, you know? Mm -hmm. And nowadays it's, it's more about, uh, I write a lot of from introspection. You're a little less like that. You, yeah. You, your objective point of view, mm -hmm. and um, I think that's, that's a, probably the biggest difference between our, our writing styles. Yeah, like right now I have a, a melody in my head and I'm working on the lyrics, but I'm, I'm having to do, I've never done this before, but I'm doing some lyric exercises by uh, Jeff Tweedy has in his book that... Uh, I think it's How to Write a Song. How to Write a Song, yeah. and it's, uh, he has an exercise <laughs> that you can do um, that you take uh, a topic or like an occupation, like say nurse, and then yeah. whatever room you're sitting in, like an auditorium, you take... Um, things that nurses do and items from the room you're in and then you try to connect them and you make it into like a paragraph mm -hmm. kind of I don't know it's just to give you kind of a an idea of where to start or maybe just get your creative juices going so. yeah but he says there's no such thing as writer's block with exercises like that yeah and that's, <laughs> that's uh you've been really good about that but I don't you know that's hard for me to do I, I can't I'm not that disciplined I don't think. well <laughs> <laughs> we're different that's yeah, okay that's right <laughs> This last song we're gonna play is called Fight For Your Life. It's off the same EP as You'll Find Tar and Feather. Uh, just to say a couple things about Fight For Your Life. I wrote it at a time when, you know, we all deal with some mental health issues and it's sometimes that inner naysayer gets to us, but this is about just kind of letting those voices in your head quiet down and letting people know that you can do it and Anything that you set your mind to, I know it sounds cliche, you can, you can overcome it. So that's kind of part of this song, and I just try to explain that a little bit to people to show where I was coming from. So fight for your life. I used to be jaded. I used to feel weighted. They told me I was fake. Could never.
We haven't put very strict, uh, you know, expectations in place for, for our arts because I feel like a lot of it can die when you try to do that. So we, um, but long term for us, you know, we, of course, we're going to be playing and, and touring and we're going to going to be uh, recording this winter, uh, putting new projects together. We have a whole slew of songs that we have not put down on tape yet. So working on that and uh, just, you know, trying to fund the next project and yeah. keep going. That's for sure. Yeah, we're definitely going to keep playing regionally, hopefully more um, in Ohio and Kentucky, getting out of West Virginia a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And yes, yeah, so be expecting some new music from us within the next year or so. Yeah.